Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about a half court trap defense that you can run with your team if you have a tall basketball team. I'm going to give you two that work really well. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And starting May 5th, I will be going over to twice a day videos in the morning basketball plays and drills and in the afternoon around 3 a.m. or sorry 3 a.m. 3 p.m. Eastern time I'll be going over to basketball skills so twice a day videos coming very soon I'm super excited can't wait till the warm weather comes but let's get down to the clipboard and let me show you some of these actually the two plays two defensive zones that I run to trap with a tall team Let's get down to the clipboard. Okay, so the first defense I use is a 1-3-1. Now, other than one year, every other every single team I coached other than one has been a tall team. And that what I mean by that is multiple players who are over six feet tall when you're talking at like grade eight level. So um, definitely this is my wheelhouse. I like coaching tall teams and there's a reason for that. I put, a lot of coaches will put their medium-sized players here, taller player in the back, point guard up front, except I change this. I put player three, our usually second or third biggest player back here, our second shortest player, and our shortest player up in front, and our tallest players at the sides. Now the reason why I do this is because of the trap. We're going to be trapping them along the sidelines and with a tall player on the corners, well, it's going to be hard to pass over them, especially if you're talking about teams that are grade 9 and under. So we're going to have player 1. He is going to be 1 to 2 steps past half court. He is going to be the one directing players towards those trapping zones, the sidelines. So Player one's going to be coming up. If he passes to this side or if he starts dribbling to that side, whatever, player one is going to start directing him over there. Player two is going to be covering the middle, and player four in this case is going to be protecting that whole side. I do not want any other player going past half court other than player one. The reason? If you stay home behind half court, you're going to be having a higher chance of stealing a pass. If he, player one passes the ball over to that side... We're just going to start shifting our zone over and player 1 needs to get his butt over to that side to force player 5 over to that corner. Now when that happens and player 5 starts going over to that corner, especially considering he's a center, but even let's say if he's even a, a shooting guard, doesn't matter. If he's getting over to that corner, we're now going to have a tall player on him and a fast player on him. We're going to be having player 2 going over and covering the whole middle zone. We're going to be having player 5 guarding the half court line. We're going to be having player 3 then covering this whole baseline. You can run it this way or you can have player 2 running guarding this area, player 5 guarding this area and player whoops, player 3 guarding this area. Now personally, I do this and that's how I coach. So this is a very useful type of a zone defense we have a tall player here who is able to pick off long passes over top we have a tall player here who is really encroaching on player two who can't pass this way the only real option is to pass in the middle and we have a quick player there to pick off any passes and we have another quick player here to pick off long passes that's the other reason why i have those players there now, what happens when we, we draw back? Let's say they beat the zone. What we now draw back to is having player 4 pop back down. Player 3 is going to pop over once player 5 recovers. And now we're going to be in a 2-3 zone. And if you didn't want to run a 2-3 zone, it's still very simple. Player 3 would just pop up and we would have a 3-2 zone. Or we could have a very simple... 2-1-2. Two, two. There's many different ways. I usually play a 1-4 or a man. 1-4, if you haven't known yet, it's in the description below. I wrote a book about it. Anyways, 
Now going over to our next half court trap that I use. Now the next half court trap that I use is a 1-2-2. Two, two. And again, I do change it up a bit with a taller team. So we're going to have our quickest players back here. Actually, our quickest player up top, our next two quickest players back here. And I'm going to say that they're not going to be the tallest either. I want the tallest in the middle. They... The reason behind this, the tallest being in the middle, is because, of course, again, we're trapping along those sidelines, and I want them to be the tallest player there, so it's very hard for that player who's sitting there to pass out of it. So, player one, again, only one to two steps past half court. We do not want player five or four to go past half, and I do not want these two players to go past the free throw line extended. So, once that ball gets past hat, like gets moved up, and let's say they're moving it around, let's say the ball goes over to this side. Again, we're not going to be having any players other than player one going past half court. So we're going to have player five covering player two at this time, and player four is now covering center court, but not going past center court. Player three is now guarding the long pass, so he's going to be moving up a bit, just in case player one wants to do a long pass over top, player three might be able to pick it off. And we're going to have player two sagging down, so that now he is still guarding player five, but also guarding player four, because player one or player three is moving up to pick off the cross court pass. Now, let's say the ball gets trapped. We want player five to go over and double team with player one. Player four is going to still be guarding half. Player three is going to move down so that he's guarding the middle. And player three is then going to be guarding this zone up here. Now, if there's a player who's very tight, what we will be having is player three moving up and player two going right to that corner of that zone, roughly the free throw a line corner and down 45 degree angle across the key so that now player two can't get that pass and player three is fast enough to recover back to his zone if needed. Now these are the press defenses that I would use and I use myself with a taller team. I hope that they help your team if you have a taller team as well and if they do let us know in the comments section below and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video remembering May 5th is our twice a day day from then on, two videos a day. I'll see you guys there.